My name is Harley Melchin and I'm a podiatrist here in Toronto. I've been in this particular clinic for 37 years, a lifetime, and I've collected a number of eclectic objects that I like to showcase and let my patients experience to make it a comfortable experience because a lot of times when you go to a doctor's clinic, it can be somewhat intimidating. I choose to make it fun and exciting. I lived in Chicago for many, many years. And I used to go watch Michael Jordan play or when the Toronto Maple Leafs came. I used to go to the old stadium. And if anybody knows about the old stadium in Chicago, it was very iconic. It, it was so loud in there, you couldn't even hear yourself think. And the motto was, remember the roar. And the last games played in that particular stadium was playoff games against Chicago Blackhawks against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So I used to fly in to watch the games that were taking place in Chicago. And of course, I'd go to Maple Leaf Gardens here to watch the Toronto Maple Leafs and Blackhawks play the playoff series. After that particular playoff series, they tore the building down and built the new arena. So this is a collage about remembering the roar, the Chicago Stadium, the final playoff games at the stadium, and it has a bit of Chicago memorabilia in it. Over here is a Scrabble board, a 3D Scrabble board that a patient made for me, created for me, that has some of my favorite things placed in a Scrabble configuration. Also one of my patients acquired this, I don't know if you call it, uh, it's not per se a mannequin, it's something to hold clothes, but there's all shoes and because I have such a fascination with shoes, she thought it would be very apropos for me to have this. This piece is by a famous artist named Charles Fazzino, based out of New York, who does a lot of different artwork about scenes and events, etc. This particular piece is about Chicago, the city of Chicago. It's 3D art, handmade, and I will be able to show you some other pieces as we move along. I have the largest collection of Charles Fazzino art in Canada, and every time you look at it, you find something new within the artwork. So it's always a great conversation piece. As we move over here, this is also a fantastic 3D piece of art. I went to a concert at a local art school here in Toronto to watch a band perform. And during that week, the students had their art showcased in the hallways. I saw this particular piece, and what struck me is obviously it's 3D of feet and high heels. So I approached the principal and I said, please connect me with the artist. I want to offer to purchase this piece of art, which I did. And you can see how interesting it really is. This piece here is, I call her Madonna because she resembles Madonna. And that's my card holder. As we come over here, there's a sampling of some of the 
newspaper or magazine articles that I've been featured in so that patients can pick them up, read them, take them home. I'm a major Raptors fan, have been for many years. I was at the All-Star game when it was here in Toronto, and I had the privilege of being at the games when the Toronto Raptors won the NBA championship in 2019. And this particular art piece was painted on newspaper representing We the North NBA championships. The artist also incorporated a couple of pictures of me, and you have to look close to find them, when I appeared on TV. And it's then it was all glazed over, and that's a very special piece to me because of my uh, being a huge fan of the Toronto Raptors. Here's another piece of uh, Charles Fazzino. It's another Chicago piece. And again, with the Charles Fazzino, every time you look at it, you'll find something new that you haven't seen the time before, but it showcases a lot of the um, very popular or well-known landmarks in the city of Chicago, which is next to Toronto, my favorite city in the world. Here's another piece from Charles Fazzino and it's called Remembering the 70s. So everything in this particular piece has to do with the 1970s. A lot of the TV shows, you have some cities in here. Um, there's Dallas, there's Chicago, Wrigley Field. Um, but mostly it, it caters around the TV shows during the 1970s. We can see Lucille Ball, Mark and Mindy, Bonanza, etc. One of my newest acquisitions is a fabulous 3D piece. I obviously like 3D pieces from a very famous artist, Max Jamali, who painted a set of lips on Italian leather with 2,000 crystals in it and diamond dust. But we can see how the frame was created as well and painted. It's a wonderful, eclectic, colorful piece that really complements a lot of the art that I have here in the reception area. Over here is another piece of Charles Fazzino, and it has to do with Hen and Barbera cartoons from the 60s and the 70s and it showcases some of the shows that Hannah and Barbera created. So Hannah and Barbera took the first edition of this particular piece, and this is the second piece. Over here we have uh, a piece of art. I commissioned the artist to do a 3D piece of art local Toronto artist, Natalie Mazin. And 
Once we decided to make this piece of art, I decided to make it more interesting. Because I have the largest celebrity shoe collection in the world, and I have three pairs of Marilyn Monroe shoes, her personally worn shoes, I decided to incorporate it into the art piece and then have it custom frame. And I think actually the framing was so logistically difficult, it took longer to create the frame than it did to create the artwork. This is a showcase I had built into the wall. I have another collection and that's anything that has to do with shoe wear or feet, antiques, memorabilia, etc. especially Dr. Scholl. I have the largest selection of Dr. Scholl memorabilia, actually more than the Scholl company has themselves. But I tried to showcase some really old antique relics that pertain to feet, most notably feet, and of course shoes. And recently I incorporated a very interesting pair of shoes. It's the first pair of NBA shoes Shaquille O'Neal wore in the NBA. They're autographed, size 22. And all ages of people that come into my clinic are fascinated by the enormous size of this particular pair of shoes. So that's kind of fun as well and it complements everything in this particular showcase. Up here, because I had nowhere else to put anything, I hung it actually from the light fixture, but it's the Toronto Raptors Championship pair of running shoes. And that's where they're hanging. Up here we have a piece of the NBA Championships 2019. It shows Kawhi Leonard and the entire Raptors organization. Kind of a nice momentum of the uh, NBA championships this year. This is also an interesting print that one of my patients had created for me for my 25th anniversary of practice here in Toronto. On the other side of this glass, we have a majorly huge Skechers shoe that the Skechers company gave to me to showcase in my clinic. I don't even know what size it is. It's about three feet in length. It's huge. This is what I call my ego wall. It's one of the walls in the clinic of a lot of celebrities who've come to the clinic. Because of privacy laws, I can't tell you every person, but you can see for yourself that there's a lot of celebrities that come for foot care. 